Today we're going to be um, going over uh, a rev donut review for Donut Boss, which is in uh, Los Alamitos, California. I was wondering when we're going to introduce our donuts so we can start eating. Like we oh. talked about oh, go ahead, where go ahead. we got it from, but I want to eat mine. Somebody um, already got started. Not me, though. I can wait patiently. All right, we'll introduce your stuff. I don't know what these donuts are called. So that's a French cruller and that's a chocolate um, mm. buttermilk. That's right. All right, and then again, we're this is from Donut Boss, and I have a um, uh, cinnamon roll and then like a uh, uh, a sprinkled uh, cake, I guess. All right, so you want to get into the donut review? Yeah. So, Boss. No, it was Donut Boss. Donut Boss. Donut Boss in Los Alamitos. Los Alamitos, so, California. You ready with yours or no? Yeah, I was actually thinking about it, and I was trying to think back at my previous. So I was gonna give it. A s I was thinking a seven. Or a six, because hmm. um, I don't think it was as good as as good as Simone's donuts. Yeah, I like I like Simone's better, and I think it was better than Krispy Kremes. Yeah, I'd say it was better than that. Yeah. So, but there is no there is no in between six and seven, so I'm gonna give it a six. There is a between. It's called six and a half. I'm gonna give it a six. <laughs> What did you give Krispy Kreme a six? I believe so, yeah. I believe I was about to give it a five, but then the original glazed got it up to a six. So I give it. So I would give this uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half. I didn't think it was uh, as good as uh, seven Simone's and a half. Does. Seven and a half. Yeah, I thought it was better than the Starbucks and Krispy Kreme. Um, uh, overall, uh, y you know. But the other thing I was thinking of is like, so I didn't even finish my uh, my second donut. Not a good sign. Mostly, I was hungry, so I kept eating it. A little bit throughout the show but i mean i think we need to start sticking to like one donut type so we can compare no no, the no, dough. no. we should we should we should probably actually we should split a dozen between us that's what we should be doing that's ridiculous <laughs> well, like a dozen over the week or, no, no just or, in one sitting like i do half you do half oh my god that's sick. <laughs> i'm kind of down but no there's a donut therapy challenge right there um, so i see i like i like having i like having a mix that way i can kind of like Cause I want to see, I want to see the variety. I can't. I just want. I don't want to critique just one donor. I want to critique the whole place. You know. Yeah. No. I get it. And the French cruller. Is that yeah. What it was? French cruller. Yeah. Like that was. I, I don't. Think, I think Annie has. I a haven't comment. had those enough to tr to know really what I, okay, what I'm so speaking like, of. To be fair, like everyone makes glazed donuts, so it wouldn't mm -hmm. be best to critique a glazed donut. That's what I'm getting uh, at. We could. And then he's never had a French cruller, so he doesn't know what it's supposed to taste like. Oh no! You know now so, it tastes like what it tastes like. <laughs> Annie is <laughs> confirming my uh, oh, different texture, different. my comment that yeah. every donut shop makes a glazed donut, so it's like a yeah. a baseline for review, right? Well, but you everybody's figured... being compared on the same thing, Correct. whereas I am now rating this spot on their French cruller, but I've never had a French cruller. I can tell you that if the only donut I got was this one, um, what is this one? That's a uh, chocolate buttermilk, I think. I would have given them like a four, maybe a three. Oh, that, yeah. I, well, but, <laughs> but it could be that I just don't like this donut. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got to try a variety so you can kind of give it like a fair. Because if that's the only one you got. Yeah, but at least if with the glaze, you have a baseline you can judge every donut shop with. But then, and then also have other things on the side. So maybe like try pieces of like something else to base it on. Yeah, but but yeah, I, I figured at the end of the day, you're you're just trying to see if you would recommend the donut place to somebody else. I mean, you've had yeah. donuts before, but well, yeah, if you've had them all, that's probably better. But would you recommend it to somebody else? Yeah, I'd recommend this place. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I feel like I can't recommend it until I've been there, and I haven't been there. But as of right now, you, you now you've been there. Don't not physically. <laughs> I'm a very like, like I don't know the appearance and everything is part of it. Like, how am I welcomed? To see, do they like me when I walk in? Who if they cares? don't like me, who cares? You're, you're trying I'm to get a donut. Recommend somebody there. Get the donut and leave and eat it. No, <laughs> it's not a drug deal, Sandy. <laughs> it's not a drug deal. Um, but yeah, I'm sticking to my six. So I would do seven and a half. Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was sweet. Nothing wrong with texture. Um, it's. Uh, I think they were a little more expensive than the average one, but um, it was. I thought it was good. I mean, it was. I was uh, again. You could give me a bowl of sugar, like you said, and I'd, I'd, I'd give it a freaking seven. Eight, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I thought it was good. So I'd give it a seven and a half. Okay. So you're going with six. Six. So you it'd be a half? six point seven five is what we'd have. Very good. Nailed it. So it was beat Krispy Kreme. So that was good. Yeah, at least we know where we stand. Yeah, yeah. 